Hey guys, how you doing? So, I've got the new software here and we're going to go over how to invert any SVG or vector. Um, a lot of times when you're doing stuff on dark substances like slate, um, if you do the engraving just as is like this, it's going to come out looking like this when you do the slate. So, really quick, we have a variety of different types of SVGs here. I'm just going to go over really quick the process that I use to go ahead and do it. So right here we have a compound vector. What I'm going to do is come over here to the offset tool. I'm going to let that kind of do its thing. I'm going to select outer shapes only. And you can do this at 0 or you can do this at 0.5. Um, or you can do it at any, any increment that you really want. Um, basically if you do it at, say we'll do it at the 2, what it's going to do is going to give it that little bit of a border. Um, now, if you're actually going to be engraving this onto a dark surface, if you do this like this, that outside the white area will actually be um, engraved once we go ahead and finish here. So, that white area will be engraved. If you don't do the offset like that, it's just going to be a really thin line. Um, sometimes it's, it'll look better like, like that. Sometimes it'll look better if you actually have the offset here. So, okay. Now, enough of me talking, we're going to go ahead and finish the next step to invert it. It's literally two steps. So, there you go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this on this one really quick. So, same process. Um, we're going to ungroup it, make it a compound vector. We're going to offset. We're going to deselect or select outer shapes only. I'll go ahead and leave it at the two... Um, you know what, I'm going to get rid of this like kind of area right here, so we're going to go 2.2, and it should pop those areas out, alright, so we're going to click confirm, and then you're just going to select everything and create a compound vector, this is the easiest way to do it, there are other ways to do it, but I really don't want to confuse people, um, if you want to do it the hard way, here, we'll go ahead and make that a compound vector, we're going to offset this. Alright, so you could do, what is it? Subtract. Can't do it. Can't do that. Let's see. Can't do that. You can do that. So. CV. All right. So again, you can either just make this a compound vector, or you can come in through here and find the right one of these guys and do your subtract. This is going to be your subtract that overlap. So sometimes using these functions up here are are good. Sometimes they're just more of a headache than you really need. So um, try to keep it simple. All right, we're going to run over here to this little teacup Yorkie. We're going to make it a compound vector here. Outside shapes only. All right, so with this guy, you're actually going to want to close in the gaps for um, around the head and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just bump this up to three. So now that it's going to kind of cut all that extra detail out, you could go in there and actually um, do a bunch of node editing if you didn't want to go out so thick, but um, this is just for demonstration purposes. Now that we have that like that, we could come in here and make that a compound vector. It's going to mirror everything. Um, again, I'm going to show you really quick. If we don't, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oops. Alright, so let's do our offset again. But we're not gonna we're not gonna join everything. Um, so I'm gonna show you the difference. So that is kinda kinda wonky. Um, that's not really the, the aesthetic that we were looking for. Um, again, you make that 
outline so that everything is kind of um, open on the inside here and we don't have oops let me get rid of all of this we don't have all this interior going on all these in outlines so that really makes a mess so like I said compound vector that way compound vector this way this is the result you're after again same thing going to be down here with the eagle um, if we just we go ahead and make a copy if you just offset this at zero outer shapes only when you go to invert this when you go to invert this you just get a kind of a, a scratchy outline alright so again when we go to do this offset here we're going to try to close the gap here on the head. And get rid of the outside shapes. So as you can see, this is kind of, it's been closed. We can come in here, go down to one millimeter, see what happens. So if you have that one millimeter, it's not going to be enough. You see it's going to come around here and trace, and it's going to come on the inside. And then... Um, we're going to go ahead and just leave that, and I'll show you exactly what will happen. Let's go ahead and make that a compound vector. Now we've got a different negative. So, we started with this guy. Started with this guy, and we just really want this to be a negative. So, again, come in here to the offset. I want to show you guys all the ways not to do stuff so you guys don't have to be frustrated later on down the road. So again, at 2 millimeters, we're good to go. We'll do the outer shapes only. Click confirm. And so CV. Sorry. want you guys to have the visual side by side. Now this is with everything. That how we set it up. And now we go to invert it. What the frick happened here? Did I use the wrong one? I did. Alright, let me go ahead and copy one from this side. This one hasn't been touched. Control V. I must have had some extra on that one. So again, we're going to offset. Just goes to show you that everybody has issues, guys. So. And then we're going to go ahead and dive down into the other one to see what we did and why it's messed up. So this is what we were actually after. I don't know exactly what happened with this guy here so let's go ahead and align those center and we're gonna set this to score and I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to edit the compound vector so we have an extra I think it's an extra outline right here that's what it is Sorry about that. So when I was playing around earlier, we did do an extra just a zero offset. And we'll do that to engrave. There. See, that's all it was. So if you're not getting the exact results that you want, sometimes there's going to be an extra layer like we just saw just now. Um, again, any favorable favorable results and unfavorable results so anything is possible um, if you guys ever need any help just let me know reach out sorry the screen is going crazy here um, glad to help you guys thanks